I was at home Monday morning watching the telly, uh, Judge Rinder show actually, and then the phone rang. So I had to put Judge Rinder on hold, and then it was the police. It was Detective Constable Morris from Hammersmith Police Station. So he says, um, I wonder if you could uh, help us. There's uh, something we'd like you to help us with. So I said, well, yes, I'm always, always willing to help the police. So he says, um, well, I'll just ask you before we go any further, do you mind telling me who you bank with? So I said, well, yes, it's Barclays up there in the high street. So he says, yes, that's what our record show. Before we go any further, uh, probably best for you to check that I am who I say I am. So if you put the phone down and then lift it up and ring 999 and ask them and uh, see if they'll vouch for me. So I did that and a very nice lady answered. And she said, I'll just make some inquiries. And she came back, she said, yes, that's right. DC Morris is at Hammersmith Police Station and we understand he's making some inquiries about a fraud case. So that's fine, I put the phone down and he rang back. And yes, that was all right. He said, well, I said, what's it all about? He said, well, the thing is, we think that some staff at your bank are dishing out dodgy notes and keeping the real ones, taking them off for themselves. So what we'd like you to do is to go to the bank and take out some cash and then lend it to us for a short time and we'll fingerprint it and see what's going on. Do you think you could do that? Oh yes, I'd love to do that. I'd love to help the police. So it's right, well in that case, if you go around, are you free now? Fine, go around now and ask for, uh, how much, may I ask, have you got in your account? Well, I've just uh, had a pension payment in, it's about 9,000. Okay, well ask them for 8,500 in cash and ask them to put it in a, an envelope for you, uh, so it doesn't get contaminated with any other fingerprints. And if they ask who it's for, they might do that, just say it's just a present for my grandson. Okay, and then you think you can do that, and I'll talk to you when you come out. So I went in, that was fine, they did ask, I answered, came out, that's fine, I'm standing there with the envelope with the eight and a half in it. So he says, um, have you by any chance got a credit card with you? So I said, yes. So he says, uh, oh, would you mind uh, doing something similar for us? The thing is, um, we believe that the same gang is operating in the money exchange place up in the central station. Uh, so if you could go there, uh, what sort of money have you got in that account? I said, well, I've just paid it off. I said, so I've probably got about 3,000. Fine, but if you ask them, two and a half thousand pounds in euros, and again, in an envelope, and then we'll, we'll touch base after that. So I did that, and then I'm standing on the pavement with the two envelopes. So he says, well, if you go home now, we'll send someone around to collect them, and you'll have a, it back in half a day, and a letter of thanks from the chief constable. So I did that, I take it home. He gave me a code that the courier would use to pick up. So I said, what's your code? He gave me, that's the correct number, that's fine. I handed it over. Oh, I was tired after that, I can tell you. So I had to go and lie down. And later on, my grandson rang me and he said, well, how have you got on today? And I told him all the things I'd done, how pleased I was. He said, Granddad, I've seen somewhere there's a scam just like that. I think you better ring the police. So I did. And they said, yes, that's right. There is a scam like that. You better get in, we'll do what we can. And you better get in touch with your bank right away. So I did, but it was late in the evening then. And they couldn't make any sense out of it for me. So I had to try again in the morning. And then, then I realized, I've gone to the bank, I've taken my money out, I've gone to the exchange place, and I've got out some euros, and that's it. it, it it's all gone. I've lost my savings. I've lost my savings. Oh, I've been so stupid, so stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm Superintendent Hudson of Thames Valley Police, and I'm the Area Commander for Windsor and Maidenhead. Now, criminals these days have got a variety of scams and frauds and ways of trying to get money out of people. One of those is to pretend to be police. So I want you to understand that police will never call you and ask you for money. If they do, you need to contact us.